As night fell on Lewiston, Maine, agents executed search warrants and searched properties believed to be connected to suspected gunman Robert Card. Tens of thousands remain under shelter-in-place orders with a mass murderer potentially on the loose. Please stay at home and be safe. Police say Card walked into a Lewiston bowling alley and opened fire Wednesday night, then drove to a bar and continued his attack, leaving at least 18 dead and 13 more injured. Among those shot at the bowling alley, Trisha Aslin. Her mom says she was killed while trying to call 911. The world lost a great girl, and I lost a precious daughter. Card was in the Army Reserve. Officials tell NBC News he threatened a military base and was sent by his own commanders to a mental health care facility for treatment in July, which raises questions of how he was able to have a gun in the first place. Sources say the rifle used in the attack was bought legally. If, in fact, um, the suspect was hospitalized for two weeks for mental illness, that should have triggered uh, the yellow flag law. The shock of such a horrific massacre with nearly as many homicides in a single night as this state typically sees in an entire year has left the community reeling. I've never locked my door once at night. I leave them wide open. And that nightmare will continue until a suspect is in custody. In addition to searching for Robert Card tonight, investigators are also trying to answer the question why. They're looking at a note they found in his home for clues. And according to three police sources, they're also trying to figure out whether a female acquaintance of Card's frequented this bar behind me, and perhaps that made it a target. In Lewiston, Maine, Chris Pallone, NBC News. NBC 10 has learned a father and son who were killed have ties to our area. Bucks County woman says her cousin, Bill Young, and his 14-year-old son, Aaron, are among the dead. Kim McConville tells NBC the pair were at a bowling alley last night when the shooter started firing. They're just innocent people, just innocent people out for a night of bowling. This was a children's event. You know, who expects a shooter to go into a children's event? But, you know, this is the crazy world that we live in today. Seven people were shot and killed at the bowling alley, while another eight were shot and killed at a nearby bar. And with the manhunt for the shooter still underway, count on NBC10 to bring you any breaking developments. Download the free NBC10 app, and you can have alerts sent right to your phone.